Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. Look what we just got. Three one hundredths of an inch. Yeah. And it's still got a little bit of a sprinkle going on out there. But we're gonna venture out here so I can show you some of the stuff that's going on out there. And uh that's pretty interesting. I don't think it's over with yet, although I'm stuck right now in a little bit of sunshine. But uh, over there is the cell that just came past me. But uh, just before it got to my cabin, that was, that was actually heading straight on to the backside of my cabin. And it looked like it was gonna be a real downpour. Well, just before it got to my cabin, it actually veered off to the right and went over there. But I got the outskirts of it anyway. And uh, you can see I've got a plywood cover here or an OSB cover. I need to put a couple more coats of um, a Miracle cover on it so that the water beads up a little bit better. But it seems to be doing okay for right now. And uh, that's uh, protecting from the bugs and that stuff getting in and helping prevent evaporation. All right, so that's all clearing up over there. But the way the rains are coming are from that direction right there. And there's another cell right there. And the winds are blowing right into my face and right into my camera right now. So that's the direction it's coming from. It's going to come straight this way. Now, whether it veers off just before it gets here or not, I can't tell you. But there's still a few sprinkles coming down right now. So, uh, you know, who knows what I'm going to get total on it. Now, this barrel had about that half that amount of water in it before this rain started. So I picked up, and it's still going in there. You can see it rippling. Um, I picked up probably six inches of water in that barrel. So I probably got just about the same around the other barrels. I got one on each corner of the cabin. This is an overflow barrel. I had to actually open that, uh, that valve right there on the um, first flush. And I just use this for irrigation. But uh, I open that valve when this barrel is full so that the water goes into this barrel and I try to capture an extra barrel on it. So, got rain over there. Got major rain over there. And uh, I was just down in town today talking with the girl in the, the market down there. And I stopped to pick up a head of lettuce and a pack of cheese so I can make a sandwich. And, uh, I was talking with her, and she lives in Barstow, and they've been getting pounded every day from every little storm that's come through. It's gone through Barstow. And uh, I, I said, uh, yeah, I didn't get anything over here. She says, oh. And uh, remember now, this market I'm in is about 10 miles away. And uh, she says, oh, I wasn't here yesterday. But they tell me, the rest of the, her, the friends in the market said, they got slammed yesterday. Well, I saw that. I looked down in that direction, and they, I mean, you couldn't see any of those mountains or anything. It was just four times as dark as that and really coming down. So I did drive down Route 66 today, and uh, Route 66 was a mess. There was mud all across the roads. They had um, little temporary signs along the road at all these different places saying flooded. And you can see where cars hit the, the puddles going too fast and went off the road. And you can see their tires going through the mud and stuff and come back out onto the road again. So, you know, people I think that uh, they get behind that car and they got windshield wipers and the windows closed and they're invincible well uh, you're not trust me water has a lot of power so anyway with the uh 
the rain and the overcast. I uh, wonder how my solar system and my charge, charge is going with this because it's been overcast all day just waiting to rain and it's finally here. So let's take a look here. Oh, well, it's down a little bit. <laughs> I'm floating on, on that one and MPPT charging on this one. But uh, yeah, 13.4 volts there, 13.3 volts there. So yeah, I'm, I'm just fine, totally fine. And that's on a overcast day. So those uh, viewers out there who in the past have um, put comments down on my uh, comment section saying, you did it wrong. You're, you're all hooked up wrong. Your system doesn't isn't connected correctly. It's wrong, wrong, wrong. Well, guess what? They're wrong, wrong, wrong. Everything's working fine here. So I got plenty of power inside the cabin. No biggie. All right, just a couple more things before I close this off. Um, like I said, I did buy a, a sheet of OSB at Home Depot yesterday because uh, it's down from $42 a sheet down to $19 a sheet. So I used part of it right here for my Tokuzi cover. And then the other part, it became another wall on the chicken coop extension. So I gotta get that going because uh, I've got a, a hen in there who's been uh, brooding on some eggs for a while. And I'm expecting any time now walk into that coop. She's always in there on top of those eggs. And I'm expecting to walk in there one of these days and hear a bunch of little peeps. So I need to get that coop going. All right. The other thing, oh yeah. Over here. I was out doing some random prospecting. And I picked up these two pieces of ore right here. And uh, when I picked them up, I kind of looked right in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right in there, it is some silver colored metal. But uh, this is what you're looking for. You see all the rust in there. That's iron. And then right there, Right in the white right there, there's a little speck of gold. So we got iron in here, and then you look around here and you see where it's got these holes in here. Well, that's from the sulfides. And you can see some little shinies in uh, this crack right here, along with the black, which is iron pyrite. And uh, there's a little speckles of silver in there. Now that's interesting to me. So anyway, we'll see what I got in here. Because these are going to end up getting crushed. But the uh, these holes in here are caused by the sulfides that are mixed in with the rock. And when it rains like it just did, the rain mixes with the sulfides and makes sulfuric acid. And then the sulfuric acid ends up eating and corroding the rocks. Now there's a bunch of little... Let me see if I can get down here. There's a bunch of little shiny dots right down inside there. You see them all? So that's one. And then this one has that little speck right in there. And of course it's got the red on this side. All good colors. Then you see the, the, the black squares and um, like crystals in there, that's uh, that's all iron pyrite, right? so <clears throat> the red would be um, rust from the iron. And uh, I marked where I got these from. Uh, I have an, an app on my phone that I use and I, uh, I mark the GPS coordinates on it and then I punch in a notation on it to tell me exactly why I reserved that. So... 
Yeah. So down in, in all those cracks there, I'm seeing little specks of something silver and shiny. There's a whole bunch of it running all through here. So that's going to be an interesting one to, uh, that might be real f fine gold. And I'll, uh, I'll get these all crushed up and run through them and see what uh, is in there. All right, so other than that, I was working yesterday on cleaning out some more out of the back of the van here. I pulled another oh, 150 pounds or so of stuff out of there. I've got about uh, four or 500 pounds more I wanna take out of the back of this. And uh, I can see it's already riding higher here. And I can feel the difference when I'm going down the road. If it just feels so much lighter and when I hit the accelerator, it takes off instead of groaning to get going. So anyway, we'll keep an eye on this uh, this cell here. It is moving towards me. It is getting closer. So hopefully I'll get some more out of there. There's still a little sprinkle coming down right now. Hopefully it'll give me a little bit more rain. It just got the top of the ground wet, but I have a feeling if I if I broke that with a shovel, it would only be about an inch deep, if anything. So, that's it. Thanks for joining me, everybody. G-Bear signing off.